Hello students, welcome you all back to the problems of uh, probability. The previous video we have completed eight problems, basic problems on probability. Hope you have watched all the problems and now we are going to start the ninth problem. But before ninth problem, I expect my viewers that you have a hard copy of all the problems from the link given in the description. Without the problems, you cannot be able to understand. So please make a hard copy. Make a hard copy of the problems, print out of the problems given in the link in the description below my video. So now we'll start the next problem that is problem number nine. Come on. A card is drawn from a standard pack of playing cards and then another card is drawn without first being replaced. So one after the other. First we, draw, we are drawing a card from the pack of cards. A pack of card contains 52 cards. Out of 52 cards, one card we are drawing. After that, again, one more card we are drawing without replacing the first draw. Jo pahle draw mein jo card nikale the, usko wapas replace nahi kare. Ab khali 51 cards hai. So we are drawing the second card. Uh, what is the probability of getting two aces and two spades? The question is, what is the probability? Two different questions are there. The first question, what is the probability of getting two aces? In a first draw may ace on a second draw may be ace on. Then second question here first draw may spade on a second draw may spade on. Right? The drawing, the, the drawing of card in the second case will be dependent on the first case. Dependent on the first case condition. Now total number of cards 52, number of aces are 4. Probability of drawing an ace in the first draw is 4 by 52. Total number of aces are 4. And we are drawing an ace in the first draw. The probability of ace in the first draw is 4 by 52. Now probability of drawing an ace in the second draw is 3 by 51. Dekhe, pahili bar jab draw kar rahe, ace a gaya. Suppose, imagine karo, probability of drawing an ace is 4 by 52. Nikal liye, ace a gaya. Wo ace ko alag rak diye. We are not replaced. Ab remaining cards bache hai, kitne 51. Or 51 mein aces kitne hai? 3 aces. Pahile 4 aces the. Ek aces nikal ke alag rak diye. To 3 aces hai. To probability of drawing an ace in the second draw is 3 by 51. 3 by 51. So probability of drawing two aces in the successive draws without replacement is 4 by 52 into 3 by 51. Dekhi. Without replacement, what is the probability of drawing an ace in the first draw and probability of drawing an ace in the second draw? Pahile draw may be ace ana, second draw may be ace ana. So we apply multiplication theorem. We multiply both the probabilities. 4 by 52 is the probability of drawing an ace in the first draw. 3 by 51 is the probability of drawing an ace in the second draw without replacement. Now multiply 4, 3 is a 12. 52 into 51, you will get 2652. If you simplify, 12 ones are 12, 221 times. So 1 by 221 is the required probability of drawing two aces in a successive draw without replacement. Now, second question. Number of spades. Total number of spades are 13. The number of probability of drawing a spade in the first draw. What is the probability of drawing a spade in the first draw? 13 by 52. Now probability of drawing a spade in the second draw? 12 by 51. Again just like the previous problem. We are not replacing. Pahili ba draw kar spade. The probability of drawing a spade is 13 by 52 because 13 spades are there. We have kept it aside. We have kept that spade aside. We have not replaced. Now remaining 12 spades are there out of a total of 51 cards. Up second draw ke time par 51 cards hai or 51 cards mein 12 spades hai. The probability of drawing a spade is 12 by 51. Second time. Now we need what is the probability of drawing a spade in the first draw and drawing a spade in the second draw without replacement. So when we have to calculate and we apply multiplication theorem. So probability of drawing spade in the first into probability of drawing a spade in the second draw. So what is the probability of drawing a spade in the first draw? 13 by 52. What is the probability of drawing a spade in the second draw? 12 by 51. Multiply 13 into 12, 156. 52 into 51, 2652. Agar simplify karenge 27s are 14, 28 is 16, 78. Divide by 1326. Or simplify karenge 39 by 663. 
और सिंप्लीफाई करेंगे थर्टीन बाई टू ट्वेंटी वन और वन बाई सेवेंटी दिस सिंप्लीफिकेशन इट डिपेंड्स ऑन यू वेदर यू सिंप्लीफाइड और कीप इट एज डीज यूल गेट द सेम मार्क्स तो अपने वेरिफिकेशन के लिए यू कैन कैंसिल एंड मेक इट सिंपल सो वन बाई सेवेंटीन इज द रिक्वायर्ड प्रोबेबिलिटी दैट्स इट दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम नंबर नाइन नाउ आई एम कमिंग टू द प्रॉब्लम नंबर टेन सी ए बैग कंटेन्स एट व्हाइट एंड थ्री रेड बॉल्स तो टोटल नंबर ऑफ बॉल्स आर इलेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवन तो उसमें एट व्हाइट है थ्री रेड बॉल्स है टू बॉल्स आर ड्रॉन एट रैंडम आउट ऑफ द टोटल एट प्लस थ्री इलेवन इलेवन में से दो बॉल्स ड्रॉ कर फाइन द प्रोबिलिटी दैट बोथ आर बोथ आर व्हाइट देन बोथ आर रेड एंड वन व्हाइट वन रेड सी केयरफुल टोटली वी हैव इलेवन बॉल्स टोटल नंबर ऑफ बॉल्स आर एट व्हाइट एंड थ्री रेड टोटल इलेवन बॉल्स अब ये इलेवन बॉल्स में से वी आर ड्रॉइंग टू बॉल्स तो हाउ मेनी वेज वी कैन ड्रॉ टू बॉल्स आउट ऑफ इलेवन इलेवन सी टू वेज वी आर ड्रॉइंग टू बॉल्स आउट ऑफ ए टोटल ऑफ इलेवन तो हाउ मेनी वेज इलेवन सी टू वेज तो इलेवन टू बॉल्स आउट ऑफ इलेवन कैन बी ड्रॉन इन इलेवन सी टू वेज ये मैक्सिमम पॉसिबिलिटी Now probability that both are white. Three different questions are given in the problem. The first question: What is the probability that both the balls are white? So how many white balls are there? Eight white balls are there. Totally eight white balls. Out of eight white balls, we want to draw two white balls. So how many ways we can draw two white balls out of eight? Eight C two. Two white balls out of eight can be drawn in eight C two ways. So this is our favorable case. Favorable case, we want two balls which should be white. Two white balls we want out of a total of eight white balls. So eight C two is a favorable case, and total number of outcomes are two balls we are drawing out of a total of eleven balls. Out of a total of eleven balls. So what is the formula for probability? Number of favorable cases divided by total number of outcomes. Number of favorable cases are eight C two, and total number of outcomes are eleven C two. So 8C2 if you calculate you will get 28 and 11C2 if you calculate you will get 55. How you got here I have explained. 8C2 is equal to 8 factorial by 2 factorial into 8 minus 2 factorial. So denominator me 8 minus 2 6. Denominator me 6 factorial. So numerator me be 6 factorial pe stop karenge. 8 into 7 into 6 factorial. Denominator 2 factorial ka matlab 2 into 1. 6 factorial. Keep it. Eight minus two is six factorial. Now six factorial, six factorial will get cancelled. Two ones are two. Two fours are eight. Four sevens are twenty-eight. That's it. Eleven C two. Eleven factorial by two factorial into eleven minus two factorial. Eleven minus two is nine. So numerator also we stop at nine. Eleven into ten into nine factorial. Divide by two factorial. Two into one into nine. Nine nine factorial will get cancelled. Two fives are ten. Five elevens are fifty-five. That's all. This is the completion of first question. Second probability that both are red. So denominator will remain same. Eleven C two denominator will remain same. Numerator will change. We want two white balls out of three. Two red balls out of three. We want two red balls out of three. So how many ways we can draw two red balls out of three? Three C two ways. Three C two ways. So two red balls out of three can be drawn in three C two ways. So required probability three C two divided by eleven C two. That is three C two. You will get three. Eleven C two already we got fifty five here. So three C two means three factorial by two factorial into three minus two factorial. Three into two factorial, two factorial into factorial get cancelled. Three remains. So three by fifty five. That's it. Third question. Probability that there is one white and one red ball. So दो बॉल्स हम ड्रॉ कर रहे हैं तो व्हाट इज द प्रोबेबिलिटी दैट वन शुड बी व्हाइट वन शुड बी रेड तो वन व्हाइट आउट ऑफ एट कैन बी ड्रॉन इन एट सी वन वेज वन व्हाइट बॉल आउट ऑफ एट कैन बी ड्रॉन इन एट सी वन वेज सिमिलरली वन रेड बॉल आउट ऑफ थ्री कैन बी ड्रॉन इन थ्री सी वन वेज तो न्यूमरेटर हो जाएगा एट सी वन इंटू थ्री सी वन डिवाइडेड बाई डिनोमिनेटर टोटल नंबर ऑफ आउटकम्स विल रिमेन सेवन इलेवन सी टू Denominator सबका सेम है इलेवन सी टू बिकॉज आउट ऑफ ए टोटल ऑफ इलेवन बॉल्स वी आर ड्रॉइंग टू बॉल्स सिर्फ न्यूमरेटर चेंज होगा 
तो वन व्हाइट बॉल आउट ऑफ एट कैन बी ड्रॉन इन एट सी वन वेज वन रेड बॉल आउट ऑफ थ्री कैन बी ड्रॉन इन थ्री सी वन वेज तो रिक्वायर्ड प्रॉबिलिटी एट सी वन इंटू थ्री सी वन डिवाइड बाई लेवन सी टू लेवन सी टू ऑलरेडी वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड फिफ्टी फाइव एट सी वन एट सी वन यूल गेट एट थ्री सी वन यूल गेट थ्री एट इंटू थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर बाई फिफ्टी फाइव तो हाउ एट सी वन इज इक्वल टू एट सी एन एट फैक्टोरियल बाई वन फैक्टोरियल इंटू एट माइनस वन फैक्टोरियल तो एट माइनस वन सेवन हो जाएगी तो न्यूमरेटर में एट इंटू सेवन फैक्टोरियल वन फैक्टोरियल मीन्स वन ओनली तो एट माइनस सेवन सेवन फैक्टोरियल सेवन सेवन विल गेट कैंसल एट रिमेन्स सिमिलरली थ्री सी वन थ्री फैक्टोरियल बाई वन फैक्टोरियल इंटू थ्री माइनस वन तो थ्री माइनस वन इज टू फैक्टोरियल तो न्यूमरेटर में भी थ्री इंटू टू फैक्टोरियल रोक देंगे वन फैक्टोरियल का मतलब वन है तो थ्री मीन्स दैट्स इट This is the problem number ten. Now see the problem number eleven. A bag contains five white, seven black, and four red balls. So three different colors: five white, seven black, four red balls. Three balls are drawn from it at random. Find the probability that all the three balls are white. Three are white balls. So how many balls we are drawing? Three balls we are drawing. Out of a total, five plus seven, twelve. 12 plus 4, 16. So we were drawing three balls out of 16. So how many ways? Three balls out of 16 can be drawn in 16 C3 ways. 16 C3 ways. Your denominator will get total number of outcomes. Now, in that, what is the probability that all the three balls are white? All the three balls are white. So how many white balls are there? Five. So three white balls out of five can be drawn in five C three ways. So numerator will be five C three, and denominator will be sixteen C three. That's it. Now see here. Total number of balls: five white, seven black, and four red. Totally sixteen balls. So three balls out of sixteen can be drawn in sixteen C three ways. Three white balls out of five can be drawn in five C three ways. Required probability is five C three divided by sixteen C three. Just now, what we have done. So five C three you will get ten. Sixteen C three you will get five sixty. So एक एक zero cancel कर दो. One divided by fifty six is the answer. So how we got five C three is equal to ten C A. Five C three is equal to five factorial by three factorial. Five minus three factorial. So numerator also we stop at three. Five into four into three factorial divided by three factorial. Five minus three is two. Two factorial two into one. Three three will get cancelled. Two ones are two. Two twos are four. Five twos are ten. Similarly, sixteen C three. Sixteen factorial by three factorial into sixteen minus three factorial. So denominator they get sixteen minus three, thirteen. So denominator we are having thirteen factorial. So numerator also we stop at thirteen factorial. So sixteen into fifteen into fourteen into thirteen factorial. Denominator three factorial three into two into one. Into thirteen factorial, thirteen factorial, thirteen factorial will get cancelled. Three ones are three, three fives are fifteen. Here five, two ones are two, two eights are sixteen. If you multiply, you will get five sixty. That's it. This is problem number eleven. Now see the problem number twelve. Three cards are drawn from a pack of cards. Three cards are drawn from a pack of cards. The pack of card contains fifty-two cards. So out of fifty-two, we are drawing three. Find the probability they are uh, they are a king, queen, and knave. What is the probability that the three cards are one king, one queen, one knave? It's exactly similar to the previous problem. There are three cards out of fifty-two can be drawn in fifty-two C three ways. जब पूरे number of cards in the pack fifty-two है, fifty-two में से three cards निकाल रहे हैं, तो how many ways are there? Fifty-two C three ways. This is the denominator. This is the total number of outcomes in the denominator. Now numerator number of favorable cases. Favorable cases क्या है? Three cards we are drawing. In those three cards, one card should be king, the second card should be queen, and the third card should be knave. So how many kings, how many queens, and how many knaves are there? Number of kings four, number of queens four, number of knaves four. So पूरे fifty two cards में चार kings होती हैं, चार queens होती हैं और चार knaves होते हैं. हमको ये चार में से एक चाहिए. We want one king, one queen, and one knave. So one king out of four can be drawn in four C one ways. One queen out of four can be drawn in four C one ways. One knave out of four 
कैन बी ड्रॉन इन वन फोर सी वन प्लेस तो फोर सी वन इंटू फोर सी वन इंटू फोर सी वन दैट इज अट तो नंबर ऑफ वेज इन विच वन किंग आउट ऑफ फोर कैन बी ड्रॉन इन फोर सी वन वेज नंबर ऑफ वेज इन विच वन क्वीन आउट ऑफ फोर कैन बी ड्रॉन इन फोर सी वन वेज नंबर ऑफ वेज इन विच वन नेव आउट ऑफ फोर कैन बी ड्रॉन इन फोर सी वन वेज तो रिक्वायर्ड प्रॉपर्टी फोर सी वन इंटू फोर सी वन इंटू फोर सी वन डिवाइडेड बाई फिफ्टी टू सी थ्री तो फिफ्टी टू सी थ्री यू आर गोइंग टू गेट ट्वेंटी टू थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड नाउ रिमेम्बर फोर सी वन इज नथिंग बट फोर फोर सी वन इज नथिंग बट फोर इवन इफ यू कैलकुलेट यू गेट द सेम तो फोर सी वन इज इक्वल टू फोर फोर सी वन फोर फोर सी वन फोर तो फोर इंटू फोर इंटू फोर 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 जो सिक्सटीन सिक्सटीन फोर जो सिक्सटीन डिवाइडेड बाई फिफ्टी टू सी थ्री विल गेट ट्वेंटी टू थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड तो थर्टी टू अगर इसको सिंप्लीफाई करें टू से कैंसिल होगा टू थ्री जो सिक्स टू टू जो फोर टू वन जो टू टू वन जो टू देन जीरो टू फिफ्टी टाइम्स हो गया लेवन थाउजेंड फिफ्टी और सिंप्लीफाई करेंगे टू सिक्सटीन टाइम्स देन टू दिस वन फाइव फाइव टू फाइव तो बाई सिंप्लीफाइंग यू गेट सिक्सटीन बाय फाइव फाइव टू फाइव तो फिफ्टी टू सी थ्री हाउ यू गॉट फिफ्टी टू फैक्टोरियल बाय थ्री फैक्टोरियल इंटू फिफ्टी टू माइनस थ्री फिफ्टी टू माइनस थ्री इज फोर्टी नाइन तो न्यूमरेट ऑल्सो बी स्टॉप एट फोर्टी नाइन फिफ्टी टू इंटू फिफ्टी वन इंटू फिफ्टी इंटू फोर्टी नाइन फैक्टोरियल डिनोमिनेटर ऑल्सो फिफ्टी टू माइनस थ्री फोर्टी नाइन फैक्टोरियल थ्री फैक्टोरियल थ्री इंटू टू इंटू वन ये फोर्टी नाइन फोर्टी नाइन विल गेट कैंसिल नाउ इफ यू डिवाइड दिस यू गेट ट्वेंटी टू थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड so little bit of patience you require because every problem will be a new problem first time it looks a little bit difficult but if you watch two three times definitely you will say probability is the easiest chapter then 13th problem a man draws at random three balls from a bag containing six red and five white balls a bag two colors bags balls are there six red balls and five white balls so total number of balls are 11 so out of 11 balls the person is drawing three balls so how many ways we can draw three balls out of 11 11 c 3 ways what is the chance of getting the balls all red all the three balls we want red so how many red balls are there six red balls so how many ways we can draw three red balls out of six six c 3 ways so numerator will be six c 3 Denominator will will be eleven C three. That's it. Over answer is four. Now total number of balls are six red, five white. Eleven balls. Three balls out of eleven can be drawn in eleven C three ways, and three red balls out of six can be drawn in six three ways. So required probability will be six C three divided by eleven C three. So you get twenty by one sixty five. If you simplify, you get four by thirty three. So how you got six C three? 20 6c3 20 कैसा आया 6c3 is equal to 6 factorial by 3 factorial into 6 minus 3 factorial तो न्यू डिनोमिनेटर में मैक्सिमम 3 factorial है तो न्यूमरेटर में भी 3 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 factorial divide by 3 factorial 3 into 2 into 1 6 minus 3 is 3 factorial 3 factorial 3 factorial will get cancelled 3 ones are 3 3 twos are 6 two two will get cancelled 5 fours are 20 11c3 11 factorial by 3 factorial into 11 minus 3 factorial. So here 11 minus 3 is 8. So we'll stop at 8 factorial in the numerator. 11 into 10 into 9 into 8 factorial. 8 factorial will get cancelled. 3 ones are 3. 3 threes are 9. 2 ones are 2. 2 fives are 10. Multiply, you get 165. That's all. So we have completed 13 problems in probability. Hope you are very much comfortable with the term probability. Now it won't to look. it's a difficult topic that is my confidence in explain in explaining these problems i think you got a good command you now you can be able to say that probability is not so difficult as the student community will tell okay we'll continue this in the next video 14 Hello students. Come on, we'll continue our problems on probability. So already we have completed thirteen problems. Now we are going to start the next problem, fourteenth. Hope you got uh, all the printout of the problems from the link under my description. So keep it ready. The problems are given in the link under the description. Take a printout and keep it ready before watching this video. Now see the fourteenth problem. What is the probability that a non-leap year should have fifty-three Sundays and fifty-two Sundays? 
what is the probability that a non leap year non leap year is a year in which we have totally 365 days in this year the number of days in february are 28 so non leap year mein 365 days hoti hain aur november sorry february ke baad sorry feb in the month of february we have 28 days so what is the probability that this non leap year will contain 53 sundays that is the question see a non leap year contains 365 days that is 52 complete weeks plus one extra day one extra day see a week consists of seven days so if uh, seven days per week the year consists of 52 weeks so 52 into seven days you will get 364 days 52 into 7 you will get 364 days but a year consists of 365 days so we can say a year consists of 52 complete weeks and one extra day 52 complete weeks and one extra day right and every week we will have one sunday every week we will have one sunday so 52 weeks we have so 52 sundays definitely we will have 52 sundays we will have now what is the probability that it will have 53 sundays question ye puch raha hai ki non leap year mein 53 sundays ki probability kya hai to 52 sundays to pakka sure milenge kyunki every week we will have one sunday there is no week in which there is no sunday koi aisa week hai kya jahan par sunday hi nahi hai nahi koi week aisa hai kya jahan par do sundays hai nahi hai to every week we will have one sunday to 52 weeks 52 sundays definitely we are but the question what is the probability of 53 Sundays kya ho sakte hai bilkul ho sakte hai kya ho ke 364 52 weeks na 364 days ho ke one extra day of the extra one day may be any of the following cases to 52 complete weeks to ho ke or ek extra day ho ke wo ek extra day koon sa ho ke it may be Monday it may be Tuesday it may be Wednesday it may be Thursday it may be Friday or it may be Saturday or it may be Sunday to 7 cases hai यानी कि 7 डेज में से कोई भी एक दिन हो सकता एक्स्ट्रा डे एनी वन ऑफ द डे मे बी द एक्स्ट्रा डे अब ये 7 डेज में से हमारा फेवरेबल के संडे हमारा फेवरेबल के संडे तो हाउ मेनी संडेस डू वी हैव हियर वन आउट ऑफ अ टोटल ऑफ 7 तो 7 डेज में से एक दिन संडे है तो प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ संडे इन दैट 7 डेज इज 1/7 if the extra day is a Sunday, then there will be 53 Sundays in that leap year, non leap year. So, if this extra day Sunday is out, then this non leap year will be 53 Sundays. Why? Because 52 Sundays are going to be done, and if extra day may be a Sunday is coming, then the whole non leap year will be 53 Sundays. So, what is the probability of extra this Sunday? 1 by 7. 1 by 7 is the probability. 1 by 7 is the probability of one extra Sunday. The probability of 53 Sundays in a non leap year is 1 by 7. Pahela question over. Second question is saying, what is the probability of 52 Sundays? Of 52 Sundays, kya? Hongi ki probability kya? Dekhi, ya to 52 Sundays hongi ya 53 Sundays hongi. 51 Sundays kabhi ne hongi or 54 Sundays kabhi ne hongi. We may have, we may have 52 Sundays or we may have 53 Sundays. We will never, never, never have 54 Sundays. We will never, never, never have 51 Sundays. Kabhi 51 bhi nahi ho sakte, kabhi 54 bhi nahi ho sakte. Ya to 52 honge, ya 53 honge. To 53 Sundays honi ki probability 1 by 7. 53 honi ki probability 1 by 7. To 52 honi ki probability kya honge? 1 may se 1 by 7 ni kaal do. 53 nahi honga. तो 52 होगा, 52 नहीं हुआ, तो 53 दो में से mutually exclusive, mutually exclusive, 52 हुआ तो 53 नहीं, 53 हुआ तो 52 नहीं, तो probability of 52 Sundays one minus probability of getting 53 Sundays, probability of getting 53 Sundays is one by seven, तो one में से one by seven minus कर दो six by seven, तो six by seven is the probability that a non leap year will have 52 Sundays. And 1 by 7 is the probability that a non leap year will have 53 Sundays. That's it. This is the question number uh, 14. Question A bit. Now, 14 question B bit is also there. A leap year should have 53 Mondays and 52 Mondays. A leap year should have 53 Mondays. 
A leap year will contain 366 days. We know non leap year will have 365. Leap year will occur every uh, after every four years. After every four years, we will have a leap year. In the leap year, we will have totally 366 days. In that year, February will have 29 days. The month of Feb will have 29 days. And the total number of days in the year is 366. Agar 366 days away, to 52 complete weeks and 2 extra days. Because 52 weeks ka 364 days. Each week consists of 7 days. So 52 into 7, 364. But here 366. So 364 days, weeks ke hai, plus extra 2 days. These extra 2 days may be any one of the following combination. Monday and Tuesday. A combination kya ho sakta? 2 din extra. Wo 2 din extra ke Monday and Tuesday. Ye combination ho sakta. Ya Tuesday, Wednesday. Ya Wednesday, Thursday. Ya Thursday, Friday. Ya Friday, Saturday. Ya Saturday, Sunday. Ya Sunday, Monday. Yes, seven possibilities. These are the seven possibilities of the extra two days. Now, yes, seven possibilities. Me, kitne possibilities me we will have Sunday. How many combinations we have Sundays? One Monday and Tuesday. Agar Monday and Tuesday combination hua, to fir Monday aa gaya isme. Agar last me Sunday and Monday combination aa gaya, to yahan par bhi Monday. To out of these seven combination, in two combination we will have Monday, right? Two combination. The probability of Mondays will be 2 by 7. Out of a total of 7, 2 cases are favorable. So in the above 7 cases, in 2 cases we have Monday. Probability of 53 Mondays in a leap year will be 2 by 7. So leap year agar honga, 366 days agar ka leap year agar hai. So us mein 53 Mondays honi ki probability 2 by 7. 53 Mondays honi ki probability 2 by 7. So again, just now I told it may be 52 Mondays or 53 Mondays. It will never be 54 Mondays. Ya 51 Mondays. 51 Mondays kabhi ne hote, 54 Mondays kabhi ne hote. Ya to 52 honge ya 53. Mutually exclusive. 52 hua to 53 nahi. 53 hua to 53. So what is the probability of 53 Mondays 2 by 7? So what is the probability of 52 Mondays? 1 minus probability of 53 Mondays. So 1 minus 2 by 7. 5 by 7 is the probability of 52 Mondays in a leap year. Now, 15th problem. <clears throat> a bag contains 5 white, 3 black balls. So, total 8 black, 8 balls. 2 balls are drawn at random, one after the other without replacement. 2 balls are drawn successively, one after the other without replacement. 1 ball nikale nikale alag rakh diye. Phir dusra ball nikale. Find the probability that the balls drawn are black. What is the probability that the both the balls successively drawn are black? So, in the case, mein, how many black balls are there? Three black balls. Three black. Total balls are five plus three, eight. Out of eight balls, we are drawing two balls successively, not at the same time. So, total number of balls are five by three black, eight balls. Probability of drawing a black ball in the first draw, three by eight. Probability of drawing a black ball in the second draw, two by seven. Pahele is a black ball draw kar rahe, to 3 black balls. To 3 by 8 is the probability of drawing a black ball in the first draw. Wo nikal gaya, wo black ball ko alag rakh diye. Ab remaining black balls kitne hai? 2 black balls. Total number of balls? 7. Pahele 8 te ek alag rakh diye. To 2 by 7 is the probability of drawing a black ball in the second draw. Now, probability of drawing 2 black balls in successive draws without replacement is 3 by 8 into 2 by 7. 3 by 8 into 2 by 7, 3 by 28. So 3 by 28 is the probability of drawing two black balls successively without replacement. Next, 16th problem. One number is selected at random from 1 to 100. Find the probability that it is a perfect square. There are 100 numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, up to 100. One number is selected at random. What is the probability that the number selected is a perfect square? All the numbers are not perfect squares. All the numbers are not perfect squares. Only few numbers are there which are perfect squares. So we must know which are the numbers which are perfect squares. That is our favorable case. So one number is selected out of 100. So total number of outcomes are 100. Ek number we select. Kar rahe. Total is 100. Hai. So there are 100 equally likely, totally exhaustive, mutually exclusive outcomes. 
then favorable cases are probability that it is a square favorable cases are 1 4 9 4 is the square 2 square 4 3 square 9 16 square is nothing but 4 4 square 16 1 ko square karenge to 1 hi aayega 2 ko square karenge to 4 aayega 3 ko square karenge 9 4 square 16 5 square 25 6 square 36 7 square 49 8 square 64 9 square 81 10 square 100 So this number 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, 100 These are the squares These are the squares So how many values are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 So 10 cases are favorable 10 cases are favorable Perfect square 4 is the perfect square of 2 4 is the perfect square of 2 9 is the perfect square of 3 Perfect square of four, 16 is the perfect square of 4. Right. Probability that the number is a perfect square is 10 by 100, 1 by 10. That's it. Next, 17th problem. See the 17th one. A bag contains 20 tickets marked with numbers 1 to 20. So a bag mein 20 tickets say ek ek ticket ke upar ek ek number hai. 1, 2, 3, 4, up, like that up to 20. One ticket is drawn at random. Ye 20 ticket mein se ek ticket nikal rahe. So there are 20 possible outcomes. Koi bhi ticket aa sakta. Har ticket ke aane ke chances equal hai. So when one ticket is drawn out of 20, there are 20 equally likely, totally exhaustive and uh, mutually exclusive outcomes. Mutually exclusive, totally exhaustive and equally likely outcomes. One ticket is drawn at random. Find the probability that it's a multiple of 2 or 5. And second question, 3 or 5. So what is the probability that the ticket drawn is a multiple of 2? Multiple of 2 or a multiple of 5. So we have to find out which are the tickets which are multiple of 2. Which are the tickets which are multiple of 5. Pahela question 2 or 5. Baad mein 3 or 5. Pahela 2 or 5 ko dekh lenge. So we have to find out which are the tickets which are multiple of 2. Which are the tickets which are multiple of 5. Now see here. One ticket is drawn at random out of 20. Total number of outcomes are 20. Probability that it is a multiple of 2 or 5. Pahela question. So A is equal to event that it is a multiple of 2. Pahela denote karenge A is the event. That the ticket is a multiple of 2. So konse konse multiple of 2 honge? 2 ka table padi hai. 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Total number of tickets are 20. So 1 se leke 20 ta konse konse number 2 se divisible hai. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 14, 16, 18, 20. So 10 tickets are there, which are multiples of 2. Then B is equal to event that it is a multiple of 5. B is the event that the ticket is a multiple of 5. So which one is it? 5, 10, 15, 20. 4 tickets are there. 4 tickets are there, multiple of 5. 10 tickets are there, multiple of 2. 5 tickets are multiple of 5. Uh, 4 tickets are multiple of 5. P of A. Probability of A is 10 by 20. And a 10 tickets multiple of 2 hai, out of total 20. So P of A is 10 by 20. P of B. B ka matla multiple of 5. Kitne multiples of 5 hai? 4. So 4 by 20 is the probability of B. P of A and B. A of B ka matla aisa ticket which is multiple of 2 as well as 5. So ye dono mein se konse common ticket hai? Common ticket ka matlab what ticket jo 2 ka bhi multiple hai na? 5 ka bhi multiple hai na? Ab yaan par dekhe kuncha ticket hai? 10. 10 is a multiple of 2. 10 is a multiple of 5. 20 is a multiple of 2. 20 is a multiple of 5. So we can observe 2 tickets are there which are multiple of both 2 as well as 5. So P of A and B. Probability that it's a multiple of both. 2 by 20. 2 ticket hai aise out of 20 which are multiple of both. So two numbers are multiple of both. The events are not mutually exclusive. Mutually exclusive ka matlab aisa case agar A, A agar hua to B nahi hona, B hua to A nahi hona. Isko mutually exclusive. Yani ticket aisa rana ya to multiple A ka rana ya multiple 5 ka rana. Dono ka nahi rana. To mutually exclusive. Not mutually exclusive ka matlab aisa bhi possibility hai ki a ticket is multiple of 2 as well as 5. Dono bhi agar ho sakte to not mutually exclusive. Yeah, obviously not mutually exclusive. Because there are two tickets which are multiple of 2 as well as 5. 
तो द इवेंट्स आर नॉट म्यूचुअल एक्सक्लूसिव अकॉर्डिंग टू एडिशन थ्योरम p ऑफ a और b इज इक्वल टू p ऑफ a प्लस p ऑफ b माइनस p ऑफ a एंड b एडिशन थ्योरम में जब भी और मालूम करना है व्हेनेवर वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट a और b वी अप्लाई एडिशन थ्योरम अब एडिशन थ्योरम में देखना है कि म्यूचुअली एक्सक्लूसिव है या नॉट म्यूचुअली अगर नॉट म्यूचुअली एक्सक्लूसिव है तो p ऑफ a और b इज इक्वल टू p ऑफ a प्लस p ऑफ b माइनस p ऑफ a एंड b if it is not mutually exclusive yahan par not mutually exclusive hai p of a 10 by 20 p of b 4 by 20 p of a and b minus 2 by 20 minus p of a and b to 10 plus 4 14 minus 2 12 by 20 3 by 5 therefore probability that it's a multiple of 2 or 5 is 3 by 5 pehla question second question probability that it's a multiple of 3 or 5 3 or 5 a is equal to even that it is a multiple of 3 तो थ्री सिक्स नाइन ट्वेल्व फिफ्टीन एटीन दीज आर द टिकट विच आर मल्टीपल्स ऑफ थ्री तो टोटली सिक्स टिकट बी इज द इवेंट दट इज अ मल्टीपल ऑफ फाइव फाइव टेन फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी फोर टिकट चार टिकट मल्टीपल ऑफ फाइव है और छह टिकट मल्टीपल ऑफ थ्री है पी ऑफ ए इज सिक्स बाई ट्वेंटी एंड पी ऑफ बी इज फोर बाई ट्वेंटी पी ऑफ ए एंड बी इज गो टू प्रोबेबिलिटी दट इज अ मल्टीपल ऑफ बोथ दोनों से भी मल्टीपल होना कोई टिकट है क्या देखो यस yes. 15 इज अ मल्टीपल ऑफ 3, 15 इज अ मल्टीपल ऑफ 5. तो एक टिकट है जो दोनों से भी मल्टीपल है तो P ऑफ A एंड B, प्रोबेबिलिटी दैट इज अ मल्टीपल ऑफ बोथ 1 बाई ट्वेंटी ओनली वन नंबर इज मल्टीपल ऑफ बोथ द इवेंट्स आर नॉट म्यूचुअली एक्सक्लूसिव क्योंकि एक टिकट है जो दोनों से भी हो रहा है तो ये इवेंट्स को कहते हैं नॉट म्यूचुअली एक्सक्लूसिव नॉट म्यूचुअली एक्सक्लूसिव और नॉट म्यूचुअल एक्सक्लूसिव है तो पी ऑफ ए और बी इज टू पी ऑफ ए प्लस पी ऑफ बी माइनस पी ऑफ ए एंड बी सेम फॉर्म ये नॉट म्यूचुअल एक्सक्लूसिव है तो अप्लाई करेंगे तो पी ऑफ ए और बी सिक्स बाई ट्वेंटी प्लस फोर बाई ट्वेंटी माइनस वन बाई ट्वेंटी एलसीएम ट्वेंटी ले लो सिक्स प्लस फोर माइनस वन नाइन बाई ट्वेंटी प्रॉबिलिटी दैट इट्स मल्टीपल ऑफ थ्री और फाइव इज नाइन बाई ट्वेंटी दैट्स ऑल दिस इज द एंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम नंबर सेवेंटीन